I just want to let you know that I am the proud owner of an AR-15 5.56 NATO round, and I, you know what? I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. I've had it to my ears. I can't stand Obama, and I know I'm going to have to answer to the Lord for this, but I loathe him and all he's doing to our country. And I'm just going to say, when the bullet starts flying, well, I got plenty of bullets. And I tell you, man, they want vigilante, they're going to get it. Thank you. God bless America. All right, Phil. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I mean, that's that's an attitude that uh, that scares a lot of people. I understand that. But when you go back and you read the words of our founding fathers, and you go back and you read some of those letters they wrote, some of the speeches they gave, sermons that were preached by the pastors during the Revolutionary War, uh, those were the kind of sentiments that were expressed about the anarchy of the British crown. And they came here to get away from that. We are not now willing to revert back to anarchy to have our liberties stripped away from us. The right to keep and bear a gun has been the privilege of Americans from day one, and it has never been a problem. It's not a problem now. Back when we had prayer and the Bible read in our schools, we didn't have school gun shootings. Back in the day when faith had a prominent place in the life of Americans and American families, We didn't have this kind of rampage in our country. We have gotten away from it. We used to have the Ten Commandments posted in our schoolrooms so that every day our students could see where God Almighty has said, Thou shalt not murder. But we've deemed that as illegal now, according to the Constitution. We've taken that out of our classrooms. We've taken prayer out of our classrooms. We've taken faith and morality out of our nation's population listen the lack of knowing the lord and living godly lives is what's caused this problem it is not the presence of guns 